an aluminum spoon. You would think a common item these days, and indeed it is. But that wasn't always the case. Way back in the 19th century, items made of aluminum were very rare, even though aluminum is the most abundant metal in the crust of the earth. But until Charles Martin Hall found a way to isolate aluminum from other elements in the Earth's crust by passing an electric current through a solution of aluminum oxide, it was so rare that Emperor Louis Napoleon III actually had a set of aluminum dinnerware made for his most exalted guests. However, if you were just a commoner, you would be served with gold cutlery. These days, of course, we reserve the use of gold cutlery for very special events, such as the wedding breakfast for your daughter who has just gotten married. Yes, that is indeed a very special event. All right, I think you know that it isn't real gold. Uh, this is actually polystyrene that has been pigmented to make it look like gold. I'm not sure exactly what the pigment is. There are all kinds of ways to, to arrive at uh, the gold color. For example, mixing uh, copper with zinc can do that, or tin sulfide can do that. Anyway, there are many ways to, to uh, achieve this. If you want unpigmented polystyrene, uh, that's achievable. It would look like this. It is uh, uh, transparent and, and it's quite hard, much harder than the flexible polypropylene, which is cheap and is, is very commonly used. However, if you want really hard plastic, that would be polycarbonate. But some people are concerned about polycarbonate because of the potential leaching of bisphenol A, an endocrine disruptor, out of the plastic. However, in this case, the amounts would be so, so trivial that I think it would be inconsequential. So, uh, yes, we use gold cutlery today for very special events. But the truth is, I'm not in favor of using any kind of disposable cutlery, whether it's gold, uh, transparent, or polypropylene, because there are serious environmental issues with the overuse of plastics. They get disposed of in an improper way and end up in the, in the environment. So, as you might suspect, uh, I don't really like using uh, disposable cutlery, except for very special events. I, of course, do favor using regular cutlery that can be washed and reused, and obviously I have my own preferences of the kind of cutlery that should be used. All right, thanks for listening. We will see you next time, and indeed uh, a very special occasion for the use of uh, gold cutlery was uh, the wedding breakfast for my daughter. See you next time.